need and we now need to uh, effect action essentially and uh, the footage that we're looking at on the screen with Dr. Zola Sidney Temba Square Libele Mboi Solizembe Undesana Mboi Ungwega Ibanjwa Mm. Um, going on to his final resting place and we keep touching on uh, some of the moments that came up of, uh, uh, of the funeral service and we're listening to the obituary um, and, and, and the president's eulogy of, of his former colleague and some of the things that you can touch on when you're reflecting on, on the areas of life that Dr. Skweya impacted on. Um, for me, it's as you stated, mm -hmm. the constitution, his work yeah. with the constitution, um, the political side, um, the public servant, um, but also what the president mentioned, that he was a member of the Lutuli detachment. Another very um, important aspect of the fight against apartheid in South Africa and this passing of this what they call gentle giant yeah. reminds all of us I think South, uh, South Africans to try and know the backstory. Mm. Um, every time we talk about the people who are prominent who are out there that we see we forget about how we got here Absolutely and the different is. role players and their part in all of this and and in in his particular activities within the Lutuli detachment, how he traveled the length and breadth of the Sadek region, but also went up to Tanzania to set up a political school. Yeah. Those activities and how they're related to when we talk about Solomon Mathangu um, and how they were taught by people like Obudzola and those kind of stories yeah. need to come up in our narrative, in our films, um, in our schools, how we integrate these conversations into our everyday life. Our colleagues who are also on site at the funeral, Aldrin Sampia and um, Zondi Lembeja, who mm -hmm. we're crossing to, um, Alicia. I think uh, we do have Aldrin Sampia on location now. Let's hand over to him. Aldrin, it's over to you. Well, yes, we are still here outside um, the church. As you've seen that the cottage has left. It's now on its way to the east or the east of Pretoria where the cemetery is. And of course, that's the final burying place. That's the final place where Ndate Zoleskia will be buried. Right now, let me just quickly bring in a member of parliament as well as a deputy um, a minister of finance and NEC member as well. Um, Babu Ngugubele, thank you so much for joining us um, this afternoon. Quite a sad day as uh, the country bids farewell to quote unquote uh, gentle giant. Indeed, it's really a sad day. Model of human service. Uh, example of all what we, we aspire to be. And uh, such a special person, uh, a pillar of hope to the aspirations of the poorest of the poor. Um, an academic, an activist, a soldier, a leader. Just as, as a former mayor of Ekurleni, what do you take from what he has been credited for, Batubili? What does this mean? And you had even the president saying that a question that we should continuously ask ourselves as those people who work in government is, are we putting our people first? You see, Adrian, if you go 2016, Ekurleni, by independent institutions, was leading in customer satisfaction, Moody declaring us the best run city. All those things, one of the key sources of our inspiration was the leadership of this man. Because the Batu Pili program, he started it and it's a very popular program. I used to live in the Eastern Cape where I was born. They, do, they even call it Batu Pele. And then you know we properly pronounce it Batu Pili. The fact that irrespective of what language you belong, but all languages were able to embrace it, explain the man at the center of it. And wh why do you think it has been such a problem as raised by the prof earlier on as well for um, the executive to embrace this, for those who have been deployed by the ANC in its various capacities and leadership positions in government to embrace this and to ensure that it's executed in its full uh, totality? You know, I, I really sympathize with what the prof said because it shared some of my concern. Let me tell you, the general system is what the prophet is critiquing. Let me put it this way. I, I usually say 
In South Africa, we are not shorting of skill as much as we make noise. But we are shorting of an environment for the talented people which is predictable, on the basis of which people can plan, leadership that can be believed to mean what they say. If you listen to the prof, he was not taking DGs necessarily, he was saying the ultimate authorities that are there, can they say things, you know how I would have said, the credibility of any message lies in the integrity of the messenger. And I can tell you, if you want to unleash human talent, when you are in charge, you must be a predictable leader. They must know once you set principles, you will live with the consequences of those principles. You don't say this tomorrow, say that the other day. What you do, you tie the bureaucrats. They are not sure what to do. They are not all uh, holy, but generally, the unpredictability of the environment, the degree of uncertainty of the authorities under which they serve, it's my view, I submit, it's critical for their inability to unleash their energies in the posts in which they are deployed. Well, thank you so much, uh, Deputy Minister of uh, Finance. Let me just quickly bring in um, the Minister of Tourism, uh, Derek Hanukom, who's joining us now, who's also um, been a comrade as well as a colleague of uh, Dr. Zola Skweia. The first thoughts when this announcement was made, it was the 11th. Uh, we were at the official memorial of Mama Winima Tigizela Mandela bidding farewell to her as well and all of a sudden came through this news that uh, Dr. Zoila Skweya has, uh, has left us. What went through your mind at that time? Well, there was just pro profound sadness and uh, realization that a generation of superb people, wonderful people I is being lost to us. Uh, but at the same time thinking, well, you know, uh, a sense of determination. They expect things of us. We must rise to their expectations. We must keep their legacy alive. And I, and I know what Zola wanted out of us. We were quite close. So, I mean, I, I must say, I mean, the first and strongest emotion I felt was just deep sadness and deep sense of loss. But as time went on, I, I thought to myself, well, what has Zola given us? And what is our responsibility? And it's resounding, it's powerful, and in his own quiet way. And the ideals that he stood by, the ideals of ensuring that um, those who have been marginalized before, that they are being, um, I don't know, resurrected from, from the poverty that they've been, been experiencing into a, a world where, um, where we all enjoy the wealth of this country. As a minister, how do you ensure that that legacy does not die? Well, firstly, I, I think you're quite right. I mean, he was almost a symbol of caring, a symbol of dedicating a life to exactly that, uplifting the lives of ordinary people, uh, making sure that uh, justice prevails in our country. And justice for him not, didn't just mean legal justice, but social, ju social justice, that the, the, you know, the very poorest of our country should be targeted in our programs and all of our programs. And in answer to your question, it's up to every one of us to do the bit that we can in our governmental programs and in our daily lives to target poverty in South Africa, inequality in South Africa, and do the little bit in the corners that we find ourselves, not just in government but outside of government. And I think that's, that's where we are today. I think a, a new dawn shouldn't just be a slogan. We heard many people say today Zola was not a person for slogans, he was a man of action. So insofar as we do have this, this new period, this new chapter, if you like, of South Africa, the call from Zola and from many others would be, let's all get involved in addressing the very acute problems of poverty which are right in front of us. And it's everyone's responsibility, not only government. Well, thank you so much, Ted, from Minister Derek Hanukom. Let me just quickly bring in former Minister...